Hey cuties, this is your girl Yona of Yona's Eyes coming to you with a She's Cute and She Cooks. So I did my makeup today which is another glitter cut crease. A little bit more glitter than I had before. It's a recreation from a cutie community um, challenge, Drippy Thursdays. So it's like bold, fun whatever have you and I did it just to get in this kitchen and whip up a meal and dessert okay so this is going to be two videos if you're interested in seeing my dessert first keep watching okay so in order to make this Hawaiian cheesecake fruit salad you need a mixing bowl that's my mango and pineapple. They threw in a couple grapes, strawberries, fresh strawberries, blueberries. Um, I try to get everything cut if I could, but as you can see, the kiwi came in a pack. A pack of Philly cream cheese, a tub of Cool Whip, graham crackers, of course, and powdered sugar to make this recipe oh i forgot and lemon juice as well so these cream cheese had to be softened so i sat it out while i was at work which is about three hours and then you add a half a cup of powdered sugar i might have a little bit more than a half a cup and then a tablespoon of lemon juice which when I make it again, I think I'm going to use vanilla instead of the lemon juice. I should have a mixer, but I don't, but I will get one. But my arm was pretty strong. I got the whipping that thing up. You're just making it into like a, um, a even mixture, you know. If you see white, then that means that the lemon isn't mixed in. So you got to just keep mixing until it's right. So then you're gonna add the entire tub of Cool Whip. And that's probably something that I wouldn't do the next time as well, because it might have been, it either wasn't enough fruit or it was too much whipped cream. I'm not sure, but I'll play with it again. Had to put the arm muscle back to work, make sure that everything was like nice and whipped up evenly smoothed out okay next I'm gonna cut my fruit that was my first time ever cutting kiwi it wasn't that bad but I have a very generic kitchen right now and I just can't wait to get really sharp knives and better pots and pans and things like that um, I've never really been a kiwi person I like kiwi drinks but I've never really been like okay I'm gonna eat me a kiwi today I also had to cut up the strawberries that's why I saved myself some time with the mandarins the mangoes and the pineapples buying them either from the can or as far as the um, mangoes and pineapples go, they were pre-cut. So I, I just took the time with these two fruits and then the blueberries, of course, and everything else you could just dump right in. Another thing that I did not see in the recipe, but that I did see in the picture was bananas. My mom has this thing where she making me believe that we don't have real bananas anymore. Like, man is manufacturing bananas. I don't know. I love banana flavored stuff. Gotta talk about that, Mom. All right. So, I felt like I had a really good amount of fruit. I was definitely more or less off script whenever it came to the fruit I just cut until basically I was tired of cutting 
So I went back in and just before I add the fruit, I just whipped up that mixture one more time. I don't, you know, had to make sure it was real mixed. <laughs> so then I added my fresh fruit. I washed those off before I added them, just in case you're wondering. Next, I added my pre-cut mangoes and pineapple. There were a couple of bonus grapes in there that I added to the um, mixture as well. And as you can see, I filled up the bowl with fruit for the most part. I just still felt like the mixture was too thin. I added mandarins in last. I only used half of the um, can. As it did, the recipe didn't call for a great big can like that. So, and then I had to get a bigger spoon to put that all to work. I strongly believe in stirring food. It's just necessary. Take an arm break, get back to stirring. I felt like it was so thin that I needed more fruit. So I cut more strawberries and I cut more kiwi and I added them. Now for the graham crackers, it was, you know, crushed graham crackers. So I just took the hammer to them. I thought that would be quicker and it was. I would think that it was genius, you know. This wasn't genius. Adding the graham crackers into the recipe was not a good idea because of course it lost its crunch and the crunch is what made it as far as it went because to be honest guys I only ate half your fruit needs to be sweet and fresh that's another episode of she's cute and she quotes whenever I edit and post this video I'm actually going to leave a review this is my first time trying this first time making this shout out to sisters with class on facebook uh she's been dropping some really good recipes and i think i want to learn how to make them but if you're interested in seeing what's for dinner i'll make sure that that video is not too far behind but this is just something quick and simple it's refreshing it will last a while but let's see how it tastes all right, cuties, this is your girl, Yana, of Yana's Eyes, saying see ya when I see ya. Peace.